Hey everybody, this is Kevin over at BibleWellness.com. So Kevin, I understand that uh, to be that guy, you know, the guy that's very dependable, the guy that gets up every morning and handles his responsibilities, the guy that makes sure his children eat three three hots and they have have a cot, the guy that uh, makes sure his wife is well taken care of and that she looks good, and, and you know, the guy that... Uh, um, he makes sure the roof a roof is over his family's head. He makes sure that he stays in good health so he's not uh, a burden to anybody. The guy that makes sure that uh, all his bills are, are paid off and up to date and taken care of. The car is always running. Uh, the guy that you can call with his negative degrees outside and the pipes freeze over. And he's out there at, uh, at, from 10 to 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the morning making sure that your pipes is good to go for the next day to make sure you have some hot water. Uh, the guy that uh, will, will pull over when he sees somebody in distress and help them change their tire, will help them fix their engine, will help them do the things that needs to be done. Uh, the guy that just doesn't complain, he just wakes up, does his thing, uh, He wake, and he's not a badass, he doesn't have any swag, uh, He he's happy with having one wife, he's happy with uh, eating a bean burrito every day for lunch. <laughs> that guy, I mean that guy, I'm paying tribute to that guy today. Um, he doesn't get a lot of recognition because he goes quietly into the night, just handling his responsibilities from cradle to grave. And, uh, he's not, he's not very noticeable. He operates in the background, but if it wasn't for him, a lot of things wouldn't get done. And a lot of people wouldn't be able to do the things that they do and have the freedoms that they have today and enjoy, uh, just in having a recent conversation with a, a fellow co-worker who said, you know, I understand what you're saying, Kevin. That sounds good, but I think I need more. I need more to prove uh, that uh, life is worth living, that I lived a good life, that I lived a successful life, a life that's prosperous. Uh, you know, I need that. Uh, I wouldn't mind having that uh, that Bentley in the driveway or that that uh, McMansion or that, uh, you know, the those six zeros in the bank account. You know, I wouldn't have bad having those either. I got goals. But at the same time, I've learned the art of contentment. And I think this is one thing that is uh, leaving our society or has already left our society. And looking at the reality shows, uh, looking at TV and the movies and things, the, the, the music videos that, that is constantly pushing our culture and some other other cultural indicators that are pointing to that nobody wants to be the regular Joe Smo no more. Everybody's seeking to be the uh, the Kanye West, or everybody's seeking to be the Jay Z or the Drake, or everybody's seeking to be the guy up front, the guy that makes waves, a mover and shaker. Not realizing that uh, you know there's nothing wrong to aspire to be more and greater in your life, but at the same time, learn the art of contentment where you're at and handle your responsibilities. Um, these guys. This this uh, video today is dedicated to all those regular Joe Smos who who uh, have confidence but they don't have swag. Uh, they uh, they're not a they're not a badass, but uh, they you know you don't want to get on the wrong side because they will take you out if they have to quietly. Uh, you know those guys who who just uh, what do they do? They're very dependable. They get things done. They make sure everybody's happy. Um, they're content with just staying in the background. So we at Bible Wellness, we salute you guys uh, who just are happy with eating a bean burrito and uh, just going to work every day. Uh, but they but they aspire to do more and be more. But at the same time, they've honed the art of just taking care of business and being a man uh, about about their their day to day chores. So just looking at the culture and where we're going, the culture wants more. The culture's pushing success, fame, and fortune. Uh, if you don't have these things, you are nothing. This is what the culture is telling you. This is what I'm hearing. Don't believe that lie, that lie that sets in your in mind and it uh, fortifies itself into a stronghold. And then uh, your emotions get tied to it. And then you got a, uh, with a soul tied to it. And then you... You spend your life chasing the American dream that is actually the American nightmare, and you you never really attain the American dream. But I'm just saluting all the regular guys out there who just get it done. They don't complain. They don't, they just show up, show out, make sure everybody's happy, uh, and uh, they they keep the skids of uh, life uh, sliding on down, keeping that progress growing. So we salute you.
Mr. Regular Guy. This is Kevin at BibleWellness.com. Uh, just don't forget to sign up for our uh, newsletter over in the right hand margin and hit like if you like it, share it with others. Uh, just peace out. You guys stay warm. Nice and cozy as the regular guy gets out there in the negative degree weather. Make sure everybody else is happy and warm and cozy and make sure they're eating food.